Hey YouTubers, today we're going to be talking about the Umarex 9XP blowback metal slide. Sorry, let me adjust this for a second. Here we go. I purchased this at uh, Replica Airguns.ca. They, they do have an American and a Canadian side. Um, I opened it up yesterday. Now this is automatic. I'm not sure if it's semi-automatic or automatic. Reason being is that uh, it did not come with a CO2 cartridge. Um, no BBs, just the gun itself. It was price ranged at uh, $71.99 Canadian with the shipping and uh, other fees came up to a hundred and one dollar Canadian, which is the equivalent of uh, I'm guessing about seventy four U.S. dollars. But uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just starting to get in the hobby of these guns. Uh, my last video was of the P six six full metal air spring pistol. Um, now I want to talk about these dots here. What uh, most uh, blowbacks have a white dot here, or yellow, or blue, or even green. This one does not have one. I guess this is one of the low budget uh, blowback air pistols. I've seen some of them. Uh, pfft. Cost three, four, five, six hundred dollars for that price. You might as well get a, an actual gun. But if you're in the hobby of these, like, it's pretty neat, you know. Um, I have read that you need, you do need a case to um, place these in. Safety precautions, I'm guessing. Like that's realistic as it gets. Like, look at that. Um. It does have a uh, cartridge release right here. Let's see this. Push this and which is a metal cartridge, full metal. This can be replaced. I actually dropped this yesterday and it came apart. Like. You guys can see that here. Let me just fix this so actually see what the heck I'm doing. Um, now there's these uh, these rigids where you, they actually fit into the slots, the whole slots here. Yeah, and uh, like I said yesterday, I accidentally dropped it. And it came apart, which really, like I said, it's a low budget blow blowback or uh, CO two pistol. Um, yeah, CO two fits in CO two cartridge fits in behind the handle. If I could get this opened, I'm most uh. You can actually see through this one. You can't. No, this has is uh, that's the lever. You turn and turn and turn it, and what it does is um, puts the hole in the seal too. But uh, not a bad gun. Like without the. Uh, the metal cartridge, like it's really top heavy. Like, look at it. Real top heavy. Um, I believe the plastic is made of ABS plastic. Or, yeah, ABS. ABS plastic. 
Now, this says gun shoots up to 400 feet per second. That's 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 impressive. You can all the metal BBs. Um, there's not really much else about it. Um, as far as dismantling the our, the air gun or the CO2 gun, um, I haven't gotten that to that point yet. Like I said, I just opened it yesterday and I just took a quick glance at it. But uh, you know, like there's a safety. Oh, that's the safety here. It's pretty straightforward, really. Not much detail on it. Space doesn't look realistic enough. Right. There's not really much else to say about it. Um, now, if you really want to get into the high-end guns, the Tokyo Maui USP, the plastic one, all plastic gun with um, the spring costs about what? About forty U.S. dollars, seventy Canadian. Now I have looked into the purchasing one of those with the the metal slide the metal slide alone is three close to 300 us dollars like wow you know that's that's breaking the bank but we'll see what happens um yeah that's pretty much it really like i said it came in this not really a big fan of the way they package this um, like I said, you don't, for that price, low end, low end blowback, uh, you don't get any CO2 cartridge, you don't get any BB pellets with it, just the gun, a hundred dollars for this, you know, it weighs about one point, about 1.7 pounds, that's right, right? Lock. Little loose at the top. Now, I've seen 10, 12 year olds with their YouTube videos with this kind of gun. This gun is not made for someone that's under 17 years or even 18, under 18. Like, you know, 400 feet per second, that's, you can really hurt someone. If you're not paying attention or you're doing it without a unsupervised parent, for God's sakes, you know, like, parents out there should really consider what their kids are doing. You know, whatever happened to street hockey or whatever happened to throwing the ball around. No, now I see these uh, nine, ten-year-olds with replica handguns. Like, you know, it kind of blows your mind. Well, it doesn't. To me anyways but uh yeah so basically just keep your eye on your kid out there if he has one of these don't let him go wavering it around because chances are he's going to tell his friends and his friends going to tell his parents and next thing you know one big fiasco but yeah hmm. like i i have a kid and i keep these I keep this one and uh, my P66, even even if it's an air spring, you're locked up in a safe. Once again, I don't really like to point this at people, but if you're watching this, like, you're, definitely wouldn't be pointing at anyone, really. You know, it... This is pretty much it. Okay.
Is that like a real Glock? Realistic enough. Probably the same weight. I would say pretty identical to it. Like I said, I did, I just got this yesterday. It came with no CO2 or BB pellets. There's no way I can test this out. But uh, maybe in my next video, I have purchased another uh, CO2 replica handgun. Uh, it should be coming in the mail within uh, the next week or so. And I'm definitely going to do another YouTube video of that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it really. So this is what it looks like, a 9 Boomer X9 XP blowback. Anyways, guys, hey, thanks for watching. And if you have any comments, just let me know. Uh, I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of crap on this. Um, like dismantling it. I don't even know if it's dismantable. I believe it is. Like it's got these. If you can see it here, right here. That. I think you push that in and somehow you pull back on it and then hold the trigger and then maybe it'll slide forward. Like I said, uh, quick lance yesterday and uh, today just doing a YouTube video on it and uh, see what you guys think out there. But anyways, here it is. I know the lighting in here is very poor, so I apologize. Well, maybe no side angles. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Any comments, post them down below. I will post a website where you can get this for the Canadian site. All right. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye for now.